just after taking this uh, book in dense forestry as you can see hard going through the woods but move very little and look lots use your binoculars and you'll spot your animal otherwise if you move around too much you'll never see anything go maybe 50 to 100 yards and then stop and give it 10 or 15 minutes in that area before you move on to the next continuously glassing um, this book appeared when I was uh, just sitting still he just appeared out of nowhere but that's what fallow do there's a fine uh, big book and uh, I t took him with a clean high neck shot there we go a high neck shot and dropped him on the spot to be honest he wasn't that far but in cover like this I don't like to see him running so it's best uh, they're pinned on the spot so I'm gonna do a grolic as you can I was gonna hang him up there but because of his size <laughs> I wasn't fit to I couldn't lift him up high enough so I'm gonna do a grolic on the ground so we'll face him now for the grolic and continue on and see how this grolic goes I'm just checking everything here that everything is normal uh, as it's well past the rut at this stage uh, he's lost probably a bit of condition but overall he's in good order and uh, I'm just the exit wound is quite small quite small but it's still it dropped him on the spot dropped him on the spot so uh, I've already bled him as he was blinking when I got to him so I just said I bleed him so that part is done we'll face him down the hill the reason I'm facing him down the hill is so the blood will come out We'll just at the vice box. We'll remove that. We'll separate the two. And we'll knot it off. We just scrape just above the knot. The knot won't pass that then. That's the wind pipe. There's the food pipe knotted off. It's a bit awkward doing it this way, but you can see. My Paddy Smith knife makes little of this job. Take in testes and the stomach out. Then put my knife in 
I just separate the diaphragm on top. I hang my knife up there. Well, I reach in below the heart, grab the windpipe and pull it up. Now we have the lungs, put the lungs and heart out. Then just the remaining diaphragm up along. As I have a bit to go with this animal, I have to drag him out. So I'm not going to take the bung or that out. I'll just tie off the back passage just like that. It'll stop any pellets going back inside our carcass. Now we can check everything. Everything is normal. Lungs are clear. There's no blood splash or anything actually on these lungs. It's very cleanly taken. Everything is there. Those glands running at the back of the lungs are all fine and normal, normal size. Everything is normal. The heart is there inside that sack. Everything there appears normal. We certainly have a lot of white markings there. So I suspect liver fluke. And this area is notorious for it. So I'm just looking at the, the ducts at the base of the liver and that. Now I'll just get the knife and we'll just see. Yes, and as I suspected, There we have liver fluke. So the liver will be disposed of, but um, we'll take the heart. We'll just take it out of the sack. The heart is always good eating. There we have the heart. I always split the heart, it lets the blood come out. So put that back in there. Now, what we'll do, I'll rehang my knife just to keep everything hygienic. We'll check the intestines. You can actually lay them out. Lay them out like that. And you can see all the glands, all the glands. You can see all the glands there when you spread the intestines out. And as I said, everything appears normal. With the exception of liver fluke, this animal is perfect. On a pre-mortem inspection, he was behaving normally and naturally and walking perfectly. Uh, he wasn't lame or anything, so he seems to be in good order. He's a little thin, but it's been a while since the rut, so he'll be only starting to put on condition. But there's quite a lot of these animals in this area, so taking out a few is absolutely no harm. And we've seen way better animals uh, than him, way superior animals to him. So now comes the job of extracting them out. Uh, as I'm on my own, this is going to be uh, a good, a good lot of work. But I never left an animal behind, and uh, this will be hanging in the chill uh, soon enough. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that and found it informative.
good animal, dark, melanistic, fallow book. Thank you.